Elon Musk wants to go to Mars, and he wants you, especially if you are a NASA string puller or deep-pocketed futurist, to help him get there. It involves a slew of new technology, gigantic reusable rockets, carbon fiber fuel tanks, ultra-powered engines, plus spaceships capable of carrying a hundred or more passengers to the red planet, landing, then returning to Earth to pick up more. Musk doesn't want to go to Mars, he wants to build a civilization there. Which means he'll need all that sweet gear to make it cheap enough to work. So guys, in today's video, we will be showing you insane plan of Elon Musk's SpaceX company to colonize Mars. Without further ado, let's begin. Subscribe for latest updates about tech industry. The future is now. By Musk's admittedly loose estimates, buying yourself a single ticket to Mars right now using non-existent tech would probably cost around $10 billion. The same amount in cash could buy you a few square blocks in midtown Manhattan. But once this so-called SpaceX interplanetary transport system is fully operational, he estimates that a person will be able to travel to the Red Planet for around $200,000, roughly the same as a two-bedroom in Madison, Wisconsin. The ITS, Musk says the name needs some workshopping, would accomplish these cost cuts primarily with lighter materials, stronger rockets, and reusable technology. Take a ride with Elon through his Martian fantasy. You and 99 or more other passengers board a huge crew vessel atop a massive new rocket. Combined, they are about as tall as a 40-story building. 42 Raptor engines rumble to life below, and soon you and your fellow pilgrims are gunning through the upper atmosphere at tens of thousands of miles per hour. After depositing you in orbit, the first stage boosters drop back to Earth and flies itself back to the launch pad at Cape Canaveral. After some indeterminate refurbishing, a crane attaches another spaceship on top. Except the one that has no people. It's full of fuel. The rocket launches again and releases the spaceship, which meets your spaceship in orbit and transfers its fuel load into your ship's tanks. Repeat a few times until your ship is topped off, then you head for Mars. Thanks to six vacuum-optimized engines accelerating your ship to about 19,014 miles per hour, you and the other pilgrims will reach Mars in just over three months. Along the way, you guys will have so much fun playing zero-g games, watching movies, hanging out in the onboard pizza shop. Elon, seriously. It will be, like, really fun to go. You'll have a great time, Musk insists. Several years of submarine service leave me slightly skeptical that any amount of pizza and zero-g can turn locked in a tube into a great time. But who cares? Off to Mars! Upon arrival, heat shields on the ship's belly will create mild friction with Mars' scant atmosphere to help you break. But the real stopping power will come from supersonic repulsion, basically firing engines at the planet in the same way SpaceX lands its Falcon 9 rockets. Except this ship will be going many, many times faster than that, and the crew capsule is way heavier. Then again, Mars' gravity is about one-third that of Earth's, so maybe everything will be cool. Hell, I'm not a physicist, people. Welcome to your new home. If you are enjoying the video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos just like this. Mars, he points out, is one of the best bets for setting up humanity's Battlestar Galactica starter kit. It's close by, it has lots of water frozen beneath the surface. For farming, the atmosphere has vital nutrition like carbon dioxide and nitrogen. And the gravity is just 37% that of Earth's, which means you'd be able to lift friggin' anything and dunk like Michael in Space Jam. Plus, red never goes out of style. And importantly, ITS is not a one-way system. Using methane fuel harvested from the Martian regolith, Musk says the spaceship would be able to live free from Mars' weak gravity and return to Earth. This part of the plan is crucial to cutting those interplanetary costs. If commercial aircrafts weren't reusable, a red-eye might cost you half a million dollars or more. 
but just like reusable jetliner makes it possible for you to fly anywhere in the continental USA for under a grand, Musk says his reusable system will make Mars cheaper than most mortgages. Musk's ultimate vision is a Martian city of millions. This will take thousands of ships, tens of thousands of trips, and, in his estimation, about 40 to 100 years. But all that starts small. Despite a recent pre-launch explosion, Musk still hopes to send a Dragon 2 capsule to Mars in 2018, when Earth and Mars orbits bring the planets close to one another. Then again and again, every 27 months, when Earth and Mars are again perigee, SpaceX will transport two to three tons of equipment to the Martian surface. Pardon the mixed metaphor, but this whole thing redefines the word moonshot. Musk has always stated that his goal for SpaceX is to get to Mars. All these ISS resupply contracts and communication satellite launches are just ways to build capital and develop technology on the way to that goal. In response to an audience member asking whether Musk wanted to go to space, the SpaceX CEO replied, I've got to make sure that if something goes wrong on the flight and I die, there's a good succession plan and the mission of the company continues and doesn't get taken over by investors who just want to maximize profits and not go to Mars. That's my biggest fear. Real talk. But SpaceX doesn't have the money to do this on its own. As Elizabeth Lopato from The Verge brilliantly pointed out this morning, the whole point of today's speech is to pique the interest of other moneyed space fanatics. Musk is rich, and SpaceX is doing pretty good business sending satellites into orbit, notwithstanding the odd explosion now and then. But the company is nowhere near making the billions necessary to jumpstart its Mars ambitions. How far to go? Well, SpaceX just did a successful test fire of the Raptor engine, which has three times the propulsion power as the Merlins it uses on the Falcon 9. I'm amazed it didn't blow up on its first firing, Musk says. The company's engineers have also made progress on the carbon fiber fuel tanks. As any decent bicyclist will tell you, ad nauseum, carbon fiber has amazing strength to weight ratio, just don't put it in a clamp. But making a mold big enough, without cracks, and having it cure at the right temperature is an enormously difficult challenge. Musk said he hopes to have the first developmental spaceship ready to operate in about three years. If things go super well, the first one could be ready to depart in about 10 years. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below, do you think humans will ever visit Mars? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video!